Major upgrades in Macomb County aim to keep sewage out of Lake St. Clair. Tens of millions of dollars will overhaul a pump station and sewer overflows better preparing them for those heavy rains. Fox News Hillary Golston has the latest from St. Clair Shores. According to the Alliance for the Great Lakes, tens of billions of gallons of raw or poorly treated sewage ends up in our lakes. It's such a great natural resource. That's terrible. And for literally for decades, we have been discharging uh, combined sewer overflows after heavy rain events. Overflows coming from multiple places in Metro Detroit, not just from the Chapaton pump station, where the canal and retention treatment basin are getting an upgrade to the tune of an additional 13 million gallons of storage. We are creating additional storage so that after a heavy rain event, we're able to store rather than, uh, and of course we would treat before we would discharge anything, but in this case we hope to be able to store it until the rain event has passed and then we can send it down to Detroit for proper treatment. A second project upgrades the electrical systems at the pump station, including adding generators in case the lights go out, which of course we've seen all too often. A lot of these electrical components date back to 1968. Hubert Humphrey actually cut the ribbon on this thing and uh, uh, which was great back in the day, but unfortunately, a lot of the infrastructure remains. The project's total $43 million, and the bulk of the money comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. Remember that? We're finding little ways to reduce these combined sewer overflows year over year. So in Macomb County, we are making huge strides. The projects also should help with basement flooding. And here's some more good news. Sewer overflow is expected to be reduced by about 38% and this project should take about two years to complete. So don't expect this to be done overnight. Along Lake St. Clair, Hillary Golston, Fox News.